Now tell us, because a lot of people are thinking, all right, blood flow restriction and katsu, they're saying synonymous, but you're saying there's a vast difference between the katsu approach and just regular bands. And I've seen these, you could just get a band, you could tie one off on the top, basically with a shoestring and call that blood flow restriction. Um, so, so tell us about that, that differential between katsu and most of what we're seeing in the market in BFR. Yeah, so BFR, blood flow restriction, is literally that, restriction. So the arterial flow going in, the venous flow coming back out, it's restricted in some way. The tightening of the bands, um, some of them are uh, blood pressure cuffs, some of them are modified blood pressure cuffs or tourniquets, and you know the least expensive ones are simply rubber bands. Um that actually starts at what we call occlusion. So you you put it very tight and then you loosen it up. Uh, and that that's just like when we're taking our blood pressure, uh, you know, when you, you feel that tightness uh, uh, on the uh, on your arm, that is actually restricting the blood flow going into the arm and actually out. And that is why it's called blood flow restriction. Katsu comes from the exact opposite end of the spectrum. We put on the bands without doing anything at all. So that is the point of homeostasis. So your regular, your body is at its normal, in its normal condition. Then we slightly, very slightly, very gently increase the compression. And we do that by inflating the bands. And we inflate them just ever so. And think of it if you're going to go for a, a two-mile run or a, you, you want to do something very vigorous, you always start off very gently, very slowly. If you're going to do a 10K run, you walk out of the house, you start stretching, you maybe do a, a little bit of a, a, a warm-up walk, then you get into a jog, and then gradually you start your running pace. Same thing with your vascular tissue. We start off in homeostasis, regular blood flow in and out. Then we compress through inflating the bands ever so slightly. And a lot of people tell us, I don't feel anything when they start katsu. And it's exactly what we want them to to feel. We don't want them to feel anything because they normally wouldn't feel their veins or their capillaries anyway. Then as the process goes, and and we'll call one set about a um, five-minute procedure, the bands gradually inflate more and more, which means that the blood, the return blood, is slowing down more and more. Now, we can't feel the difference emotionally, psychologically, but our capillaries and veins do. And so when you look at your palm of your hands, uh, it's a normal color. And then gradually, it gets pinker and pinker. And for some people who are what we call vascularly healthy, it becomes quite uh, like a beefy red, if you will. And so what we do here is that is how we're engorging all of the tiny capillaries from your fingertips to you know your armpit. Now, people say, well, if you're just working on your arms, what about your legs? What about your core? I have a broken rib. I have a broken clavicle. What happens outside of the limbs where we have the bands on? Well, actually, we have one vascular system. If we impact one part of our vascular system, let's say our arms, we are also impacting the rest of the body. And we we can get a little bit technical there, but that's... I think that's uh, where I can stop at this point. No, no, it's it's a holistic measure. You know, even when you do some treatments, let's say you do some type of, uh, you know, blood therapies, you only need sometimes to treat a small portion to get the whole circulatory system, give those benefits. So it's, it can be understandable that way. 